On the justice court, the plaintiff, Olubi Nkweoke, is asking the court to compel her husband to be responsible for their children's school fees. All right. Court in session. Honorable Judge Ubi Asaolu Saidu. Please be seated. Your Honor, this case is between Ulubi Kwe Oke and Ajayi Timuti. Defendant Patrick. Thank you. Good evening, Good evening. Why are you here? I'm here because of my kids. I want, because they've been with me ever since I got separated with my husband. So I've been the one taking care of my kids alone. On the 10th makes it five years now. I've been doing it because he went, when we got separated, he went with the kids. So I had to go to OPD at stadium to get the custody of my kids because he never allowed me. Talk to the kids. But right now you have the custody of the children. Yes, ma'am. Right. There must be a reason why you are in court today. Yes, ma'am. Because I know what your claim is here. Yes, ma'am. And I have his response to yes, it, that, which I'm going to read out. Yes, ma'am. So I want you to state why you are in court today. Okay. The so reason... that I can give you his response. All right, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. The reason why I'm here is I want him to start paying the kids' school fee. Because I allow him to see the kids. But he pays 13000 every month. I paid their school fee. When my firstborn was about to write his junior work, I called him. What's, Even the kids what, called him. What is the... So I want him to... The school fees. Yes, ma'am. You have evidence of... What? Yes, ma'am. Let me first read his own response to you. Because what I have here is... He's not taking care of his children. Are you listening to me? Yes, ma'am. I mean... I mean, what you have here is that he's not taking care of his children. Is that so? Yes, man. He only pays 10000 every month. Then his response is, I, Ajayuluyemi Timothy, living in Ikurudu, Lagos, came here to defend allegation against me, stating abandoned responsibility towards my children. Yes, ma'am. I would like to say this allegation is not true because... I have filed complaint on this issue of not allowing me the access to my children, dated 25th February 2021. That's two years ago. Yes, At head of unit, Social Welfare Office, Kushofe, local government area, Arena Office, Ogudu Road, Ojota, yes, Lagos. Yeah, we went there together. She was called upon the allegation in February and was later showed up in May. 2021, after having discussion with the man in charge, we both agreed that I should know the school of the children. Does he know the school of the children now? No. He only comes during uh, week, maybe weekends. I never denied him. For, okay. Yes, and everything they may need. After taking me to the children's school and introducing me to the man in charge, I paid the school fees, and she told me that she was owing. I then told her that I know nothing about that, and told her I want to change the school because I don't like the environment, but she refused. But to my surprise, she took the children away from the school, and I was not aware until she called me and was demanding for 50,000 naira to complete the registration in a new school. Then I told her I don't have any money to give her because I told her I want to change their school and she went behind my back to change their school to where I do not know. But her agreement even with the children when I sent 20,000 Naira money to complete their school fees last time was this new time I registered them in a new school being the beginning of a new time. But early last month, their mother went to my brother to complain about me not paying school fees. And my brother told her to allow me to take care of the children. But she told my brother that she can only release the boy, that she will take care of the girl. And I told my brother 
I'm not sharing my children. Sama, to this very last month, I've been sending money for their feeding, taking care of everything they told me they need, and even their medical bill, HMO. Finally, I want to say I love my children, and I always do. I want to take care of my children by registering them in a better school, and I want to give them a fatherly training. That's his response. Right. So how often does he come around to see the Any time, because he has the number. How often number. has he I, been coming around to see the To see, like, at times, maybe three times, I mean, maybe once or twice a month. Okay. Yes, ma'am. So I never denied him of seeing the kids. Okay. So let what me have the, All right. the school. When you were together, yes, which school were the children attending? Um, they, were, they, they were in primary school then, at... Uh, Irawo. They are now in secondary school. Yes. They were in primary four when we got separated. So my first born now is in SS2. My second born now is in GS3. That was, she was in primary two then. So I've been paying school fee. I never bothered him for anything. But he took, took my case to the welfare that I denied him of seeing the kids, which he never made any attempt to. He knew where my parents stayed. He never came there to ask of the kids. But I went to where he resides and asked of my children's whereabouts. He told me they are not with him, that they are with the other sister. I went there. There is an archive for that. Where is the only archive? He just went to the welfare and told, told them that I, I denied you of saying this. Did you come to me? At least that thing to be state, stated that, okay, she came, I mean, he came and I denied him of seeing the kids. But me, I came there. He never allowed me to see the kids. Okay. And he started seeing the kids. I never, because I told him he, should not, he shouldn't come because anytime he calls, I might be at work or somewhere else. So I said, let me give you your kids' number. I gave them the, uh, I bought a new phone, phone for the second one. So, okay, co communicate with your dad. So he sent, um, uh, he opened an account for Shay, my firstborn. So he gave me HMO. He said, anytime they fall sick. And I took, it was only Tioluwani, my second one I took. The, she was having running stomach then. So I took her just once. That, that was last year. That was it. The HMO. That was the only time. So he was telling me, eh, okay, the, the reason why I denied him of him not seeing the kids was, I think, June. I allowed you to see the kids. June him, this year? Yes, ma'am. I allowed you to see the kids. So there was a day, that very day, they, he saw the kids. So my daughter told me that, eh, his daddy told him that, what's this on your hand? What's this on your hand? He said, ah, daddy, what are you talking about now? Because that girl told me eh, maybe it was mosquito bite or she scratched her hand with, I don't know. I don't know. So the dad was like, he was about to beat, beat her. Confess, confess. I said, why? Confess for her. I said, I, I put incision. I said, me. Okay, what happened to the girl? Incision. Ever since we were together, because we attend Mountain of Fire Miracle. So ever since I've been with you, I've, did you see any incision on my body? So what happened to the girl? That girl, she's a covenant child. So what, what will now make me put, so I now told him, I told the ch children, okay, it's because I'm allowing you to see him. I mean, it's because he's seeing you guys. So maybe one day now, you open your legs now and tell me, tell him you that I, I, I brought a man to, to do something for you. And I said, you, you, you will not see him. She is not even paying your school fee. So what's the, what's the need? So between June and now, he has not had Yeah, he, st he stopped calling at the point. But okay, when I told him, oh yeah, tell your dad about the school fee. Tell your dad about the school fee. But I, I said, okay, let me, let's see what he even do this time. He said he doesn't have money. He doesn't money. Then your, your mommy took you away from Zewish school. Which school is that? Your mommy took you away from, and the reason why I took those kids, because when we went to welfare um, at Ogudu, they told him, okay, he, was, he brought the complaint. He brought the, sorry, he brought the complaint that I, I didn't deny you of seeing the kids. I never allowed you pay monthly allowances or, and uh, some other things. Okay, they said, okay, you want to pay school fee. That was 2021. He said, okay, you will be paying the school fee. A monthly allowance. How much do you want to, to be giving? I said, they said 10, he said 10,000. They told him that you can't pay 10,000 for two kids. And that was 2001. You can't be paying 10,000 10, era. It's too small. He said, okay, as time goes on, it will increase. Still how long, date. How long ago was that? That was two years when he took, to, we took the case to the welfare at Ogudu. He, the only thing he does out of the, the, what he stated down is just the 10,000 era. And the money he paid during, when she was about to graduate to SS1 last year, he paid 30, 10,000 for the monthly allowance, 
then thirteen thousand for their. Let me addition. see the. That's all. The, how much do you pay for the school fees? School fee, I pay. Okay, sorry, ma. Let me include this man. I told Tioluani to tell him that he should because I, uh, she pays thirty one thousand. Why Tioluani pays twenty eight? Okay, let's do it this way. Since you you said you can, and I'm, I, am I a fool? I've been allowing you to see these kids. So you only just to pay ten thousand just to hey hello hello hey kids this this. And I, oh, tell your daddy to pay school fee. I paid thirty one thousand for she. Tell him to pay your own twenty eight thousand. He said no. I said okay. You you will, I won't allow you guys to talk to him again. You will not see you. That was even when I came came in that. You won't see these kids again. If you don't pay, am I a fool? I've been for good five years. You always just to rob my, just to play with the kids and pay 10,000 every month. The plaintiff, Ulubin Peoke, claims she has been solely responsible for the children's school fees for the past five years and that she has been separated from her husband while her husband only pays 10,000 naira upkeep monthly. The defendant, Ajayi Oluyemi Thimoti, is not present in court. However, he denies the allegation in his written defense to the court. After the break, Judge Fumi adjourns this matter. I have a claim here. For you brought up and he responded to that claim because he saw this and he responded. Yes, but you've brought up a lot of new issues yes, that you will need to respond to before I can take a decision now. Yes, Otherwise, I could have taken a decision straight off on what is before me. So because of this, I'm going to adjourn. Yes, ma'am. Now we leave room for him to respond to most of, I mean, to all what you have said yes, that is not addressed yet. And then the matter will come up. Yes, By that time, we take a decision on it. Right. So that's my position on that. Matter I have adjourned. All right. If your baby daddy is denying paternity of the child to avoid upkeep or you suspect misattributed paternity situations, submit your case online at www.thejusticecourt.com for a prompt resolution of the matter.